The new year is here and you have a plan to buy a house in 2024. You're probably asking, how do I prepare to buy a house this year? The most integral step is getting yourself prepared for a mortgage. And the first step to do that is to get a credit report done. You'll be able to understand what your credit range is and the report itself will give you positives and negatives of your overall credit history and what you need to improve upon. If this seems super confusing to you, I understand. There are credit repair specialists out there that can help you understand the report and what you can do to improve upon. I know of a few as well. Why your credit is so important is your credit works inversely with your bracket that you're put in for mortgages. The way credit works with mortgages is if you have a better credit rate, you're more trustworthy. That way they charge you less interest. So if you have a high credit score, you have a lower amount of interest that you have to pay. And that also is just one of the variables for what the overall interest is. A lot of it deals to what the current market interest rates are. However, if you have a super low interest rate, you might not even qualify for certain loans or you're getting the highest amount of interest charge because you're in the lowest bracket for credit scores. If you know your credit score and if it's a good thing, then you can move on to the next steps and not have to worry about this. The second thing would be to evaluate your own debt to income ratio. This is an equation that all mortgage lenders use to qualify how much you can afford to buy a house. Now, it's always good to make more money, but the best way to fix this debt to income ratio is to look over your own finances, figuring out where all your debts are going, what debts can you pay off or pay down to improve your overall ratio. Because when you have more income compared to debt, you can afford more, and you can just live a more comfortable financial life. The third step is talking to a real estate agent like myself. Real estate agents can recommend qualified lenders that you can get connected with early, so that way you can go through steps one and two together with the lender as well. These lenders can give you a pre-qualification and there's two different types. One is simply, what is the max affordability I could have based off my debt to income ratio? So if I know, hey, I can afford a $350,000 house, I'm not gonna look at $425,000 homes because I simply can't afford that. The second thing is if you really wanna only pay an X amount of money per month, then you can give them that and say, hey, I wanna buy a house and pay $2,000 a month for my mortgage, principal, and everything like that. They can do a calculation based off your debt to income ratio, based off that $2,000 and what the current interest rates are to give you an evaluation of what you'd be looking to spend on a house. Another reason why you want to partner with an agent, which is the third step, because they can provide you with a lot more information about how the process of buying a home works. These are just the early steps. The real estate agent should be able to get you to that next step of actually walking into a house yourself. These three steps are to help you get ready and prepared to purchase a home. A qualified real estate agent is going to get you from scrolling on the phone on Zillow looking at homes to getting you in the home and feeling prepared to write an offer on a property. And yes, I know you're scrolling on Zillow and those home sites either at night or just in your free time. I understand, I do it myself. And if you made it this far to the video, comment the number one in the comment section and I can provide you with my free buyer information packet that I give out to new buyers and even buyers in general because it goes through great criteria of what to look for based on your own criteria, location, style, number of bedrooms and bathrooms. And then the second part dives deeply into the home buying process from the start to the finish. So you feel better equipped to buy a house. And if you haven't already, drop a like, follow, subscribe, do it all. Dan Larson out.